First year fashion and surface design students were given a fantastic opportunity to receive a substantial scholarship of £15,000 um, to be spread over the three years of their degree course. Um, the main criteria for the award um, of the Maggie Barwell Scholarship was excellence and so we um, as a staff team set a brief whereby first year students could apply for this um, scholarship by presenting um, selection of their first terms work um, and creating a statement of intent with regard to their studies and their future aspirations. Um, it was decided that the students should present this in a blog format um, in a creative way using the MyPad system. We've run the scholarship successfully now for uh, the past two years using this system um, and asking first year students to present uh, their work in this way is, we feel, definitely the way forward um, and we supported the students to, uh, to create the blog through a series of workshops um, where a member of the employability team came and uh, worked with the students to show them how to use the web tools effectively. The blogs that the students created were then accessed by a judging panel and the shortlist was drawn up on the basis of the content of the blog as well as the um, quality of their statement of intent. Um, the statement of intent had to include a reflection of what the student had learned in their first term as well as planning and goal setting for their future in the university and beyond into their career in the industry. We felt that the blog format is far preferable to the fairly dull um, and usually default PowerPoint presentation that most students uh, revert to. Um, the blog format is more challenging and requires more thought and effort on the part of the students. It was um, suggested that the students might actually include a video of themselves um, where they actually talk through their statement of intent. Um, and actually a lot of the students did take up this opportunity and, and that really became one of the most engaging and revealing parts of their uh, blog submissions. Um, we really believe that all the students who participated in this process really benefited in many ways um, through engaging in the scholarship um, process. The feedback from the students revealed that they uh, found the, um, the blog tools a bit clunky and a, a bit tricky to get used to. Um, they, uh, they were at times quite frustrated because they couldn't remember um, what had been uh, mentioned to them in the, um, in the workshops that we ran. So perhaps some kind of online manual or um, uh, fool's guide step-by-step to assist the students once they have attended the workshops um, would be really useful. So if creating a visual and reflective blog was part of a first year requirement, it would equip all students really well for their second year studies. Um, they are required as part of their level five modules to create a blog using WordPress. Um, and moving on from this in level six, it really should enable students to be confident enough about creating their own simple website and also uploading their, um, their creative work to commercial portfolio websites like Artsred, Moonfruit and Wix. So to conclude, we really feel that using blogs and web tools um, generally needs to start in level four, be built on in level five and to ensure that students in level six are emerging competent and confident in promoting their work um, in a hugely competitive field, we feel this is clearly essential.